The next story, a singer from Argentina, Daniela Bezia, was among the winners thanks to her contributions to the local culture scene. Born in a musical family, Bezia has a natural passion for music. She has performed numerous times on TV shows across the country. Our reporter Huang Yue visited her band during a rehearsal and tells us more. Television viewers in China might already be familiar with Daniela Bezia. Known by the Chinese name Anda, Bessia has appeared on various television shows around China, including hit reality shows Xinguang Da Dao, Kai Men Da Ji on CCTV. Okay. We met Bessia with her new band at their rehearsal space in Putuo District. So my name is Daniela Anda, we're from Argentina, this is B1. We are happy to see you here. Thank you. <laughs> Bessia studied piano in Buenos Aires five years ago. She got a chance to host that year's Spring Festival Gala for the Chinese Embassy in the capital's Chinatown. That performance earned her a one-year scholarship to study Chinese in Shanghai. After coming to Shanghai, her passion for music led her to stages during school and caught the attention of producers of the reality show Chinese Got Talent Season 3. Bessia opened the show with its former champion Auntie Cauliflower, singing the famous Chinese folk song Mo Li Hua. It was the first Chinese song Bessia learned. The Chinese music is so different from our music. You have like five tones. So for us to do the it's really difficult. I, for me, well, I, I took took me a long time to to my my singing can go to these five notes and, and do it like like comfortable and then another thing is maybe in Lily we have the oh, and then we go to crescendo in Chinese maybe not this, everything was different I don't know Vesia didn't just have to sing well on the show she had to pick up Chinese in a short time to communicate with the judges she still remembers the first time she was singing Mo Li Hua in a competition and I remember uh, after I finished to sing, the judge, he asked me, okay, you know what it means, Moli Hua, in Chinese? And I was singing Moli Hua, and I was like, I didn't know what he, he, uh, he was asking me, and I, I didn't answer nothing, and I was like, man, I'm asking you, what's the meaning of the song? I don't know, I just learned the song. <laughs> so, like, and everybody, all my, my because there was uh, other competitors from other countries, and all of them, they were, I bring a beautiful red flower in my, in my, her and all of it, it's like the flower. Molly Hua Shema says, it's the flower, the flower. And then, um, um, flower. <laughs> and then, she now sings regularly in Chinese, from folk songs to pop hits. She also learned how to play the gu zhen, a traditional Chinese musical instrument. When her one-year scholarship came to an end, Bessia decided to give up her university course in Argentine and settled down in Shanghai. As her fame grew, she received more offers to perform on TV or at live shows. She also became a regular guest on a TV show on Channel Yang, introducing her country's culture. Anda is really lovable, like other Argentinians. She's very hot, but she doesn't show off her outside. She's friendly and kind to every one of us and our guests. Every time when we finished the shooting, she came to me and asked about her performance if there was anything she could do better. Before filming, she would discuss with us what culture she would introduce on the show and how to present it in a better way. The first time I met with Anda, it was like, whoa, what a pretty girl. She speaks really nice Chinese and always welcome. We can communicate with each other fluently. I think that's because she has been a long-time resident in China. She's really friendly to Chinese people, and when I heard her Chinese song, it was another world. When she's singing on stage, if you close your eyes, we can hardly imagine she's a foreigner. She's really a veteran on stage. Besides singing, Bessia writes her own songs, 
With the help of a friend, Bessia made a Chinese version of her original work. And the translation is like dance for love. And I love the meaning because in my life I always try to be happy, everything to be nice, relax. Um, wherever I go, I don't have any problem, any trouble. So dance for love, like, it's perfect for me. Bessie's passionate and inspiring performances have entertained viewers and brought a deeper understanding of Latin culture to Chinese people. This year, she has been selected by CCTV Spanish to host an upcoming cooking show. She was also invited to film a documentary program about Argentine for Shanghai TV station. But she says she wants to spend more time on her own music. Now maybe it's more difficult to me to compose. Everything's going so well, I'm happy. Um, uh, you know, these kind of big feelings are so relaxed now, so to compose is kind of difficult. But I'm also busy, you know, maybe tomorrow I'm traveling to another city, so... <laughs> Yeah, I'm